Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends at yardinspirations.com. Today is the Dragon's Breast Cowl. This is literally done in the round. And so when you look at it from a round perspective, it's great. What I also did then after it was done in the round, I just used the same color yarn and I just sewed these in. So there's a total of three in a row. So one, two, and three. I just happened to match the coloring. It just worked out that way. And it's really quite an awesome thing because when you sew it like this, when you're wearing it, the bottom side will naturally unfold itself like this when you're wearing it so then it will appear when you're wearing it to be very much like that so it's a really neat idea and if you'd like to change the size of this pattern it's in multiples of seven um, but here we have a chaining of 126 that makes this up it's actually pretty easy and quick to go and i'm going to be using just um, some red heart uh, with love yarn today in a regular color people get bent out of shape when i use multiple colors so without further ado let's begin to start this process and you'll see how easy this will begin to work out so as we begin today this is just using only one ball of Karen cinnamon uh, swirl cakes. Um, the color is called Matai, and you can see that right here on the label. And I used a five millimeter size H crochet hook in order to do this. To begin this process, you need to chain 126, or you can do multiples of seven. So just seven, seven, seven until you're happy, and then that's it. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and what i'm recommending to you is that you want to just remove this off and put your hook into the back stitch right here and keep on going and this will prevent the first chain from spinning around so you don't want it to twist in any weird way so you can go one two three four five six and seven and keep going in the multiples of seven or 126 and when we're ready this will already be on and we'll be able to pull through and this chain will not be twisted i'm doing a miniature sample today and it's in multiples of seven and once you have that done or 126 just yarn over pull through and through and that will conclude then the first round and you'll have the round circle now because i had it on the hook already this, this should not be twisted in any weird way and we're going to begin the first round now to begin the first round you're going to chain three that will count as your first double crochet and just starting your very next one i would suggest you in the back loop only and you just want to double crochet in each one of the chains then going all the way around so this will be then round number one and i'll see you at the end of the round in just a moment even if your count is off by one or two at the end it, there's always a way to fudge it and i wouldn't worry about it so much so just double crochet and let's have some wishful thinking when you get back around, I want you just to slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three. And now we're going to begin and get ourselves in a setup row to do these scales. So it's also called the crocodile stitch. To start, we're going to chain one and we're going to work our way down this chain three. So we're just going to double crochet starting in the, on the, around the post. So basically it's on the front post and you're just gonna double crochet. And do you see how I'm pinching it? Just keep working its way down. There's five stitches that will go down. Now, at the bottom, chain one and turn it around and move to the next post right here. And you're going to do five double crochets going up. So if you just go into the next post, just start and just double crochet going up. Okay, so now we do have one scale done. It looks pretty open right now, but it'll it'll um, settle down in the future as we get this. This is just a setup row. After you've gone down and back up, chain one and just peel it back so you can count the number of, of these posts and you need to skip five of them. So one, two, three, four, five, and go to the sixth one here and start. And just come in the front post. And once you get it, just turn it and just start doing five double crochets going down. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Once you have that done, chain one, turn it the other direction, get the next post that's in a row right there, 
and start and do five double crochets going up. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, and then how many are you gonna skip? One, two, three, four, five, and go to the six, reach on over, just secure it, and then you can hold it. So we have five going down, chain one, five going up the other one, and then chain one, skip five, and continue that all the way around. So please do this, this is round number one. So I'm coming back around, and if I peel back the last one that I just did, there is five here, and that should be the way. If there's only four, big deal, just fake it. So once you get that one, last one done, make sure that you chain one, and then you are just going to slip stitch it to the chain one that was part of the first scale, and that will complete this round. So there, in the sample itself, there are seven, sorry, there are eight rows of these scales that you'll be able to count. So one row, we're doing the double crochet to be able to stabilizing it, and the next one we do the scale. So you're going to continue this pattern. So right where you're sitting right now, I want you to slip stitch yourself to the middle of the next scale. Just make it work. Just slip stitch yourself and get right in there. And then that's where you're gonna start the journey for the next round. And let's begin that next. So let's start our next round. And the next round is going to be the final setup. So we're not completely done with the setup. We're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet right into the center of that scale. Now, there's going to be two double crochets in a row and then a third, fourth, and fifth. There's actually five here, but watch what we do. We're going to double crochet just on the back. Don't interfere with that scale. Just leave it in place in the front and you're going to do the two right there. Now, the third one is going to be two double crochets into the same one. So when you wrap the hook, you wanna collect that chain one. So make sure it's over the hook and then go into that one. And what you're doing is you're forcing that to sit back and you're putting two double crochets here. And you're going to be using these uh, sets of double crochets and these sets of double crochets in the future. So then you have two more left before you get to the center of another scale. Okay, so let's review again. So do the center, there's two double crochets. And then you're going to do two double crochets in a row on the back one. Okay, the third one is going to be right here, but when you get it, make sure you collect that chain one of the scales to hold the scales back and you're putting two double crochet into the same one. And then you're doing the next two. And I need you to do this all the way around and this will complete our setup row, which will be existing for the rest of this particular cowl. And I'll be right back. So I'm coming all the way around. I got my two into the same one. Don't interfere with the scales. When you come back around, it can appear that way. Still only concentrate on the back. There we have two more to do before we get back to the very beginning. Okay, and then you can slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three. So everything has now been set up and now we're going to start and right where we are sitting is the wrong position and that's where we're gonna begin our journey next. So as we finish here, the next set of scales has to go in between the other two. So right where we're sitting, if we start doing a scale here, those scales will line up perfectly, but we need to shift it over. To do that, we need to just slip stitch across the line until we get to the first one of the two that are existing in between the scales that you see below. So just slip stitch your way over. And once you get to the first one, which I am about to get to now, that's where we are going to start our scale work. So we're going to chain one like we did before, and we're gonna head down the first scale. So we just, once I get it, I just turn it so it's easier. So we have two, uh, five going down. And once you got five going down, you chain one, and then you do five going up the other one. And that's the other side of that one that's sharing the exact same stitch. OK, 
Okay. Then chain one, and then you're going to make the next scale. So where are you going to place it? Look for in between, and it's the first one of the two. And just come into the first one and go five going down. Okay, and then chain one at the bottom of that, and then turn around and get the next one, which is part of that same stitch, but on the, the next post, and coming up five going up. So you're doing this all the way around and all the scales that you are putting in this round will be completely opposite to where they were before, which makes them um, completely um, uh, interlocking with each other really. So chain one and et cetera. So you can see that those scales are fitting in between the existing ones. Please do this all the way around. I'll be right back. So I'm coming all the way around again and I've got my chain one after I've done this final scale and I wanna just slip stitch it to the chain one section of the first scale. Okay, and that will pull it together. So now we have to start the next round and right where we're sitting, we kind of want to shift over to where we are. So let's begin to do that next. To keep your life simple, slip stitch yourself to the center of the next scale. So we're just going to just evenly slip stitch ourselves and get ourselves right into that spot. And then you're going to do exactly what I showed you before. So you're going to chain three and then double crochet into the same one. And then we know that there's two double crochets. So just use your fingers and make sure that you get the back one and you got two in a row. So one and two, and now it's a little bit different. Do you see the V stitch that's underneath here? The two that share? You want to go right in there and you want to capture this so that it's stuck. So when you double crochet twice into that same spot, it's holding back the last chain one that was part of the last scale to pull it back into the project. So to start another section here, just do two double crochets in a row. And then the third one is going to be your middle. So there'll be two double crochets into that same one. And then there's two double crochets in a row. And then the third one is going to be using that V stitch that you have and make sure you go right up over top of it to capture that scale to be sitting back. And you'll put two double crochets there. So you're going to go all the way around in that formation and you really kind of see how everything is kind of gridlocked together and in the behind you don't see too, it's not too exciting, but it's the framework that makes all this happen. Please continue this all the way around and I'll join you back here at the next round in a moment. So I'm coming all the way around and I'm just filling in the spaces as I know it to be. And so then I have two double crochets before I get to this here. So concentrate on the one in behind. So at this point, when I go to slip stitch it, you can see that I have two layers of scales. The original sample has eight. So you're just gonna continue in the same fashion. So as you begin your next one, you gotta look where you are and you gotta realize that you're sitting in the wrong position once again. And so that's gonna happen every time. So let's do our next round and then I will conclude this tutorial at the end. So to move on over, you have to get to between the scales and you have to get the first one of the two. So you need to slip stitch yourself to get there first. So you'll notice on the pattern itself, you don't really see any of this uh, because it's really uh, hidden because the scales kind of hide this kind of thing. So once you're on the first one, chain one, and then just start going your five down, you chain one and do five going up the next one. So I found this pattern to be quite quick, even with the larger size cowl that I did. So five down, chain one, turn, and do five going up. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to just show you one more uh, where the next one goes, and then I'm going to show you how to conclude this off at the end. So you can make this as big as you want to, essentially. I found that just using one ball was just enough for me, and then I was ready to move on. So chain one, and then look for the next one. It's in between, and just start here and move your weight five down, chain one, five up, 
and then chain one, and then start the next scale. Please do this all the way around. I'll be right back in a moment. And as always, when you get back around, make sure you do chain one after the last scale, and then just slip stitch it to the first chain one on the first scale. So now you can start with another layer of the solid um, double crochets. You make sure that you put two into the middle there and then two into the middle here, trapping that. And then what's gonna happen is that you now have three scales here. There's eight on my sample, as I mentioned. But what, what if you were done? So that's what I'm going to cover next on how to finish this thing at the end. Once you've determined that you're satisfied and done, you want to make sure that you finish with the scale. It doesn't matter how many that you have, like as far as layers. And I'm going to slip stitch myself to the next middle of the scale. And I'm going to apply, um, sorry, I'm going to just slip myself there first. And then I'm going to chain one and put two single crochets into the same one. Now, instead of using double crochets like we had been before, I want you to just use the one in behind and just do two single crochets in a row. The third one, I only want one single crochet and I want you to come into the V-stitch here, okay? And just come right on in, trapping this scale with it. And then I'm going to just come into the next two and then right into the center two single crochet. So you're bringing yourself back to balance. So two single crochets in a row. The third one, go on into the piece there and hold it back. And then do the next two. And then two into the middle. So I need you to do this all the way around. And this is the final round and I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just doing my single crochets to make it nice and stable. So if you've been using the swirl cakes, you notice that the colors have been changing and it's been really quite fun, at least for me it was. And so you're going to fasten this off. Now, as I mentioned, there is a fold that happens. So let me just throw this in the inside. So you can either wear it as is, but I just don't think it sits right. So what you can do is that you can just lay it around your neck and then just kind of fold it in a way like this. So maybe in this case, because it's a smaller sample, I only want two scales. And so I'm just going to sew on the back loops only right here. And what this is going to do is it's gonna cause the underside to turn in. And so therefore it would be a really cool idea. So let me just show you how to do it on the back loops only just to verify. So what you would want to do is just fold it in a way that the scales look equal. From on each other. And you're going to just go into the one loop on the one side and the one loop on the other. If you go into both, it buckles. So going there, and I always like to create a slip knot on this and pull it through there to lock it. And then just toss the loose end on the inside and you can secure that later. So continue to keep it folded and you're going to move down the next loop and the next loop on this side. And this is called the whip stitch. Okay, keep it folded. And so if you're doing multiples like the original, you just wanna make sure that when you go across, you're equally getting the same stitch. Okay, so you can always advance. So let's just say, for example, it starts to do this and you're kind of offset, you can just reach on over and use the same one. So you could just kind of pull. So just uh, don't be scared to, to improvise if you have to. So in my case, there was three scales that are back to back like this. And once I got to the middle between the two, I just stopped. So right here and here. Okay, and then what I would just do is just toss this to the inside and then just use my tapestry needle to kind of weave in the ends and get everything just nice and secure like that. So you would have a nice equal join like this. And so when you were wearing it, you could wear it like this and then the front kind of sits down flat. And because this is only one scale, it doesn't sit as flat as it nice if, it, if you do two or three. So that's something that you'll have to decide for yourself. And I think it's a really cool idea, but when you look at it from this perspective, it still looks like a flat cowl up until you wear it and you realize that this causes the front end 
to fold in, which creates the shape that it does. So this is a neat idea and hopefully you enjoy. Please let me know in the comments.